Otis Smith leading the basketball side and Stan Van Gundy leading our team. Um, we as a family have been at this some 20, 21 years. Um, sometimes it's all a blur. Sometimes you, know, you, you want to forget about the adversity you've gone through. But the last few years have been pretty darn special. And they've been awesome from the standpoint as how we've been led. And so today I announced to you that um, not only in extension, moving forward into the new Amway Center, but in leadership with a new position for President Alex Martins and President of Basketball Ops for uh, Otis Smith and then an extension for Stan Van Gundy. I could not sit in front of you and say, hey, um, there are a better threesome to lead the Orlando Magic in where we're going next. A lot of excitement, a finals two years ago, a conference finals last year, and a great new building to move into for this community. And um, we as a family are really proud of these two and Stan and uh, look forward to the years ahead of success both on and off the court. So I thank you all for being here. Um, those are my brief comments. I didn't wear socks in honor of David Twardzik today. <laughs> um, and we're going to open it up for questions, I think. Bob, uh, what led you to do this now? And was there a tipping point where you thought that this was necessary and important to do? I think one of the things in um, any business, let alone sports, is consistency of, of who leads an organization. And we've had a good trend, good track record, and it's probably only natural to extend and promote from within based on performance. And these folks have performed very well. So is this kind of, um, if it ain't broke, don't fix it? I mean, <laughs> the plan is working, and so let's just make it better. Well, I don't think we're broke in any way, shape, or form. And, um, we only want to get better. It's you know it's a little bit of good, better, best, and um, we've yet to hold up the gold trophy, but that's where we're heading. And this team of leadership wants to do that. I don't, I don't think there's any group that's more passionate about that, and we're willing to put dollars, energy, time, and effort into it from every aspect. Do, do Alex's and Otis's duties on a day-to-day -day basis change now, or is this also a reflection of what they've accomplished so far? You know, I think um, most of it is more of the same. You know, I may, uh, I may draw on, and you go into, a new, I mean, one of the new opportunities we have, I just toured the building yesterday, and <clears throat> to live that building, and all that new revenue and all that new experience for the fan base and customer base, that's going to be an ex extreme new opportunity for Alex to manage. And Otis in front of him is going to be the new collective bargaining agreement, how we work with players a year from now. And those challenges lead to, um, in promotion, new opportunities. It's more of the same. We got a lot of change in front of us. But um, I would tell you they're both up to the task. Alex, could you reflect back a little bit to um, the way you were at this, with this franchise with 27 years ago and how you started and where you're at now? Well, if I may, I'd just like to start by saying thanks to Bob and the DeVos family. Um, Otis and I, you know, I've been in this business now some 25 plus years, I guess. And um, we've seen a lot of ownership groups, and uh, we've seen a lot of management groups, and uh, we've said it before, and you know, we would just reiterate today the fact that this is the best ownership group in professional sports. Um, they uh, give us the resources, and uh, they allow us to do our jobs with the great staff that we have here. And um, you know, I don't think that. Otis or I or the rest of our staff for this organization would be as successful as we've been uh, without this ownership group in place. Um, <clears throat> but looking back on 
you know, that time, you know, I came to this organization as uh, a young professional sports executive. And uh, I had on that first team my partner to the left. And, you know, that relationship has been in place here for scary, <laughs> more than 20 years. Um, and uh, I, I think that it goes all the way back to that time that the relationship between Otis and I uh, started developing. Um, you know, we were, we were very close as management and player at that time. You know, I think we had a unique relationship, one that uh, I would say uh, was as strong or stronger than, you know, any player that I've had over 20 years. And uh, it's been great to grow up in the organization with him. You know, as my partner. Um, and that's a unique situation in and of itself. Uh, because I think that the working relationship between Otis and I uh, is one that you don't find in many other sports organizations. Uh, and I would even underscore in our league. Uh, we're partners in this. And, you know, there's no, there's never been, uh, you know, any delineation of turf and, you know, we work together as a team, and I think that's what we've been able to uh, accomplish and, you know, with the support of all of our staff, uh, the greatest staff, in my opinion, in the NBA and in all professional sports, we've been able to get to this point together. Uh, and it's been a great ride with this organization. Again, I grew up in it. Uh, I've had the great fortune of now going on 15 years in it, uh, which you all know doesn't happen very often uh, in this business. And again, I think that's a testament to the DeVos family and the way that they uh, govern and own and, and manage this, this uh, franchise overall. So, um, you know, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else, Tim. I mean, this is, this is my team. You know, this is the team I grew up with. Um, and, uh, you know, I think with Otis and Bob and Stan over the last five years, um, there's never been a more cohesive, great working group together at the top of the organization. Uh, the only thing we haven't accomplished, as Bob said, is to hold that gold trophy. And uh, everybody in this organization wants it more than anything, but I think the three guys up here plus our head coach want it more than anything in the world.